Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to the Mario Party 4 CPU Tournament. We are up to round 5, the last round before the finals. The first and second place winners here will be moving on to the finals to face off against Wario and Mario. And the two people who lose, well... They'll be joining Luigi and Yoshi in the not winners category. Welcome to Ko Koopa's Seaside Soiree. The name's Koopa, and it's my distinct pleasure to show you around. This board is a realization of my lifelong dream to build a beautiful tropical resort. Enjoy the laid-back atmosphere as you mellow out to my island groove and bask in its sights. Now, shall we decide turn order? A very impressive introduction on Koopa's part. And speaking of introductions, here's everybody that's playing this time around. First up is Donkey Kong, who scored a very impressive uh, last moment sort of win in the last round, securing himself uh, not immediate elimination in the loser's bracket. Second is Waluigi, who just barely squeaked into second place and managed to move on along with Donkey Kong. Yeah. Uh, third is Princess Peach, who is one of our former superstars, but overall her performance hasn't been a, the, the best going on uh, this time around. She's finding herself in the loser's bracket, which is a little surprising considering... Peach was always kind of a beast in the N64 Mario parties, but we'll see how she does here. And lastly is Daisy, who, even though she had a quite stellar, intense uh, victory in her first round, she ended up coming in a lower place when she fought in round three, so here she is facing elimination. I truly appreciate the island, you'll need these 10 coins. Indeed we will, because uh, coins are actually pretty important on this board, as we'll see in a moment. Welcome to the tropical paradise, everyone. The first star is actually fairly close by, right within sight of everyone. As soon as it gets to Peach's turn, I'll give everyone a quick tour around the board. Donkey Kong starting things off with a blue space. And Waluigi gets himself another blue space as well. Now, the Seaside Soiree is actually kind of an all-over-the-place sort of board. Uh, the main attraction here, I'd definitely say, is the uh, resort itself up here, which uh, isn't looking terribly impressive right now. But every time someone passes by one of these little Koopa spaces here, as long as they aren't giant, they will be more or less forced to donate money to build up the resort. It works a little similar to the Koopa Bank from Mario Parties 2 and 3. Though, these happening spaces don't really work the same as the Koopa Bank. If they land on one of those happening spaces, uh, something pretty intense happens. Maybe we'll get to see it. Uh, also of interest are the Okiki uh, junctions here. When players reach one of these junctions, there's one on the other side of the board as well. They are basically forced into a 50-50 shot of going in one direction or the other. They do not have a choice of which direction they go, so if a star appears past one of these junctions, it can be a little tricky to get to where you want to go. But also scattered around the boards are these docks with different fruit painted on them. If you land on the happening space, you are transported to the opposite dock, like the two orange docks right here, and there's two watermelon ones, too, that bring you all the way across the board, and the pineapple one up here. Basically, this board has a lot of different happening spaces on it that can do different things, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in regards to the happening star this time around. 
now, before we continue onward, of course we need to switch Princess Peach over to a hard computer player. And here we go! Peach getting a six! First to get to the item shop, but choosing not to buy anything. And Daisy Yu finishes off the round with a one! Not exactly fantastic, but there you go. Our first mini game of the round is Mr. Blizzard's Brigade. A little snow time action to go with uh, our tropical seaside resort. Let's see how everyone does here. Well, uh, bunching together probably isn't going to solve too many problems. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now let's just all hang out right in one, like, clustered, easy-to-hit location. Okay, that went to Daisy, I guess. Not the most stellar performance on the AIS part there. <laughs> But, hey, that lets us get to the next turn. No one really seems too interested in buying items so far. There isn't a lot of cash to go around right now. Waluigi with a 9, let's see what he does. Nope, he doesn't want to stop by the item shop either. The star is right there, so I assume everybody is really hoping to get to it without spending their money. Though Daisy is the only one right now who has enough coins to get a star, and she is continuing to roll very low. This next minigame could already determine who gets a star this time around. And it's time for some slime time! Who can escape the power of slime? These little guys remind me of, uh, of Puyo Puyo Blobs a little, with all the different colors. Puyo Puyo is always fun. My goodness, they're bad at this. Oh, D uh, Princess Peach is making some progress but falls behind. Donkey Kong is now in the lead! There you go! DK wins the minigame and is going to have enough coins to get the star. Tied for first right now, but that's probably going to change in a second. He is right nearby. Five is going to be enough. And there we go, turn three, and we've already got our first star on the board. Not bad at all. Very good. The next star is also right nearby. It's just a little breadcrumb path of stars. DK hits a happening space, but the Koopa Cabana here is not open right now, since there is no cabana resort area at all. Waluigi also getting a happening space, going for a ride on a dolphin. Probably the best way to take a ride from Doc to Doc. And he gets put a little off track there, unfortunately. But Princess Peach is gonna be joining him, it seems. Unless Donkey Kong gets a lot of money, it seems like this star up here might go to Princess Daisy. Should she roll high enough to actually get up there? A 9 will do it. Still choosing not to go to the shop. It's not a shopping sort of board, it seems. But as previously mentioned, uh, holding onto your coins is actually kind of important here. 2v2 time, it's right or left. Going spelunking once more in the deep dark caves. Let's see. Do 
who can get to the end first. Things are pretty even so far. Not a lot going wrong here. But DK and Daisy taking a bit of a hard turn there. Uh, Waluigi and Peach got a little hung up there and got hit by the fire. But they are still a fraction ahead of the other team right now. It's really going to come down to who gets stunned where and when. TK and Daisy going a little out of control. That's not going to help anyone. And our team on the red Dory makes it out of the cave. Very nice. All right, all right. Hitting the orange dock doesn't send you too far off course, I think. They are a little behind right now, but they can still catch up up there. And yes, much like the Koopa Banks of the past, you do have to invest five coins at a time. And every time money is donated, once it heats, hits a certain threshold, the cabana there, our wonderful beachside resort, will be upgraded. Donkey Kong arrives at Ukiki's Banana Peel Junction. Yes, it's all about a pratfall on a banana peel. It sends you one direction or the other, and you don't really have a choice in the matter. That does, unfortunately, lead Donkey Kong right to a Bowser space. Though, with Koopa Kid showing up, he doesn't really exactly have a lot to lose right now, since he's only got one coin. Still a shame, regardless. Waluigi with a nice 10. Alright. Not bad at all. Join in Princess Daisy right there, managing to make up some ground despite being sent backwards. Peach, not quite as lucky though, and only getting a 4 and an item space. That Mega Mushroom can come in handy though. Daisy back to getting the low rolls, unfortunately. Despite leading in coins right now, she just can't get quite get to the star. Speaking of getting coins, though, we've got a round of money belts under our belt. Let's see who can score mad cash. A nice detail is that I do enjoy the box Donkey Kong comes out of acts as an obstacle for everyone else. Not really a lot of money being grabbed this time around. The scores are pretty low right now. Donkey Kong doing a much better job than the others, though. Everyone goes rolling off. It's getting delivered back up there in time to get a couple more coins. Donkey Kong ends up with 20, but the team of three only leaves with five coins each. Seems like Donkey Kong wants to keep the momentum of his last victory going. He wants to make it to the finals, because as previously established, this is kind of his last chance. Donkey Kong hitting another happening space, going on the watermelon dock. And the special thing about this dock is that you get to get a few bonus coins as you travel. How fortunate. Waluigi rolling high yet again, stopping by the cabana and donating a few coins, but he has quite enough money to get himself a star. Our two rising from the bottom stars here, Donkey Kong and Waluigi. They lost their first round and are making their way back up. Next star is all the way towards the beginning of the board there, which I think means Donkey Kong is actually on his way to getting it. Stopping by the item shop, Waluigi buys himself a Mega Mushroom. Not bad. 
And it's time to see what direction he's gonna slip. Looks like he's going up. Alrighty, alrighty. Peach looking to make up some ground and using her Mega Mushroom. At this point, you do have to kind of cycle around the board in order to get to where the star is. Stomping on Daisy, stealing some of her cash. Avoiding making a donation to the Koopa Bank. Not the bank, the cabana in this case. By being giant. And she hits the pineapple dock. And is making a swim across. Putting herself right in front of where the star is. That ended up being a very fortunate roll for Princess Peach. Daisy hitting a happening space at the cabana. A one night stay will be 10 coins. Well, at least she gets to stay at the resort. Except there goes a tsunami. Yes, when you hit the happening spaces in front of the cabana, you have to pay the total cost of what's been donated so far. And then the cabana gets destroyed, so you don't even get to stay there. So since two donations of five coins had been made, it cost Daisy ten coins to... Just lose 10 coins, I guess. <laughs> Very unfortunate, but maybe she'll be able to make up some money here. What of a lucky minigame going on. I kind of missed what the multiplayer mul multiplier was since I was busy talking. But I think it said times two. And to be perfectly honest, this isn't the most difficult game in the world for... The one player to win. With proper timing, you usually have no problem here. Looks like a little bit of luck is coming back Daisy's way. Not bad at all. And yes, I believe that was 20 coins just now. Donkey Kong, rolling a two, hitting another Bowser space. Oh dear. That's no good. And it's Bowser himself. What's he gonna do this time? It's time for a Bowser game, of course it is. Bowser minigame time, the loser forks off all their items. Well... Considering Waluigi's the only person who has an item right now, he's really the only one who's got anything to lose. Which kind of makes this uh, particular Bowser game kind of pointless, honestly. A little round of darts of doom. Basically, if anyone but Waluigi loses, nothing really occurs. Don't want to hit the King of Koopas himself. Don't want to hit that bullseye either. DK gets himself 101 points. Not bad. Waluigi up next. If he beats DK's score, he is pretty much guaranteed safe. 180 points will do it. So really, the loser of this minigame is not really going to suffer any consequences. And it looks like it's going to be Peach. Looks like she was going for that hundred, but it landed on either side. Daisy with 36 points, also not great, but it looks like we've got our loser. Getting scorched. Like the most poorly prepared of burgers.
But, well... She didn't have anything to lose, so nothing really happened. <laughs> and Waluigi's using his Mega Mushroom just to be safe, I'd say. He is pretty far away from the star at this point. Might as well use it while he's got it. Rolling a double two, not gonna cover much ground there, but that does get him a bit of a coin bonus. Well, all right then. Getting himself a mini mushroom to replace his mega mushroom. A Princess Peach, since she didn't lose any coins from that Bowser game just now, still has plenty of cash to buy herself a star. Lots of stars acquired so far. And the next star... Oh, poor Waluigi, just missing it. Walking by it. Didn't have enough cash anyway, but that's still a shame. Princess Peach buys herself a swap card. This is an interesting item. I believe the swap card swaps people's items inventories. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, because the warp pipe is the one that swaps places. People's places, so... So, if someone, say, has a magic lamp or a booze crystal ball that you'd really like, you can, uh, take that from them. Daisy, up to the junction here. Which way is she gonna go? Going down, it looks like. It might be a while before our players cycle back to where that star is, considering it is past the Banana Peel Junction. And hey, we've got ourselves another coin collecting minigame here. Going for a little bit of parasailing. Okay. Let's see here. See if everyone can avoid crashing too much this time around. I say as Daisy steers herself right into a box. Let's see, everyone's. Uh, Peach and Daisy are pulling out ahead with coins gotten, but Waluigi and Donkey Kong are catching up now. Things are pretty even, all things considered. Might be able to make up a little bit of ground here right at the last second. 18 coins on one side and 21 on the other. Not bad on either team's part, honestly. Donkey Kong with an 8. Getting himself a blue space. Waluigi now, of course, has enough money to get the star. Uh, has to walk around and take a chance at the banana junction. Princess Peach using that swap card she just bought. And the roulette basically just... Gives Donkey Kong her mini mushroom. I mean, okay. Apparently she just really wanted to give that mini mushroom to someone. So yeah, that was probably not the smartest thing to do. But then again, that seems to be kind of the theme for this tournament. <laughs> And speaking of roulettes, Princess Peach going on a bit of a ride here. Letting that roulette ride and getting warped to Waluigi. Only went backwards a few spaces, though she does have to walk by the cabana donation a second time. Princess Daisy barely avoiding both a Bowser space and a battle space and getting a blue space instead. 
And hey, we've got another 2v2 minigame upcoming. It's a time for a little bit of Team Treasure Trek. Only seen this one so once so far. Let's see how well the players can navigate around the maze. For some reason, Princess Peach was following Donkey Kong, even though they're not on the same team. Donkey Kong's got one half of his. Daisy's got the other half. Now they just have to find each other. There you go. Princess Peach did not even get to the other red team item. Let these two claim the prize. That's honestly a pretty fun minigame. Pretty good example of a good 2v2 minigame too, I think.